I got the meter running here, it's in the middle of an event, 52581.95. So it's just about to roll over and I'll compare it with the other email meter which is on 8886.4. Wait till it rolls over to exact the two and then we'll do the test reading. So the meter has just rolled over to the two and I'll check this meter and it sits on the 88864 and then a two decimal two. The meter is just about to run over. Oh yeah, the two is rising because we're on point three low. Here Both perfectly in step. That one is just time to turn over here. That one is turning over seven three now. Nearly there, 88, 88.7. Turn back on. Very just peaceful. Disc spin around. That's the pulse output. Tick, 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 tick. There we go. Eight, 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 eight point eight. A little bit of low, low build action here. Click, click, energize device. Heating device, I mean, with that. 8896.0. I'll try to get the roll over to uh, uh, 8900. A disc, is, a disc meter is just absolutely fantastic. I'll stop here because of uh, audio music on the background. And here we got some load wheel action from the top of the M3R meter from HDXFH. I'm gonna put it on the other test rig to give it a good ramp up to 100 ampere shortly. But this is very relaxing to watch a wheel spin. Also for Boombox Deluxe, here's another big meter collector in the UK. Special for Wayne as well, of course. Bloody glare, try to get rid of that, not easy. Okay, I've got Larry's meter here on the test setup. I'm gonna energize. Day night rate, I've got it on the night rate at the moment. To line the numbers off, uh, we're gonna increase the current. We're sitting on to about 5 ampere, we're going up to about 60. I'm gonna ramp it up to 110 ampere. It's constant of 266.6. I'm going to line it up that the uh, bottom number flicks over. First is the Sangamo S219, which sits here. Now oh, there's a bit of clear there. I need to relocate that. Decimal wheel, so I've uh, got the setup for this meter. I'll put a little parallel here. 
I wait till the S219 clicks over. Well, with the decimal, it's sitting on point 0.9. And let's see if I turn the lights off. Does it help? No, it makes it too dark. It might be a little bit better. So the current is at the moment uh, on this ampere meter 110, 240 volts more or less. So yeah, we're all over here. And we're going back here. I need to turn the other lights off. Energize other devices. I'll wait for the all over here. I need to go back on the low eight. Hang on. I just zoom that in and I'll take the terrifier out here. Click. Meter is back on the other tariff and this is the M3R from Larry running at a hundred ampere. I'll wait till the numbers flick over and then we'll uh, do the dial test. I'll stop it and I'll let it percolate at a particular temp uh, rating. We're going for the bottom register which is going on 52593. Five, I want to witness the wall over to 525 or 52600. The other thing is, um, I'll do a dial test for a few more units probably as well. Uh, we're on 0.4 on the single mo. Um, yeah, we'll see how we go. The single mo is rolling over 69.9, and interesting, the M3R is just rolling over to, point f to decimal 4. That's perfect, and that on the Sangamo sits on 70.0. So let this percolate for a while, and uh, yeah, that's good. So I've got the decimals at the same setting, more or less. I'm not going to record it all, I don't want to keep the video reasonably not too long. Okay, I'll de energize the camera, but I'll let these take over for a while. Oh, the meters are perfectly in step, it's rolling over from the 5 to the 6. All the Saint Germain is just rolling up 2.0, taking into account that the M3R is measuring the potential call of the Saint Germain as well. Brilliant. Bloody hell, I just missed it. Clicked over 52600.6 units passed, so um. Yeah, I'll let it go up to 601 and then we'll see what the Saint Germo is uh, showing. Yeah, the zero is climbing. And the Saint Germo is just gone 7.0. Considering the Saint Germo will be running a bit in saturation, it's only a 40 ampere meter. I'm pretty happy the readings are spot on more or less. Okay, this is the reading the next day. I got it sitting on a percolating current of about 30 ampere versus the S219, which is just rolled over to this number. It's a tiny little bit of difference, but I'm not too worried about it. So the meter has been sitting for the last few days on about 30 ampere, and uh, it's uh, clicking up very nicely versus the same amount. Okay, just in the process putting this video together, so uh, yeah, for the metering buffs like Boombox Deluxe and uh, Larry HDFX8, just enjoy. And that uh, will be on there shortly. Thanks for watching.